All right. So, I mean, what is really a what is a an opportunity? You know, like what really is an opportunity? I, I mean, is it a is it a blessing? Is it a curse? You know, I, we can't place what an opportunity is. You know, there's no way that we can look at something and say, oh, like, that's an opportunity. Like, look at a female or a male or a job or anything. Like, it's very difficult to do that and be accurate, you know, because (laughs) it's just how it is, man. It's, you know, if we're being real about life, like, it's just how it is. Now, here's where the tricky part comes in is things become a challenge, (laughs) Things, but you now you can't you can't choose you can't really tell which things are going to be an opportunity. But things become a challenge whenever you stop looking at things as opportunities as a whole. Hear me on this, like it's very difficult to know. Like, do I know if this is the talk that will get me in the position to reach millions and millions and help, like really somebody who was probably. I might not be in the in the physical sense where I want to be. Where, you know, I, I'm in a great position. However, I like to be somewhere where I can put others in a better physical position. Spiritually, I'm in a much better position. So, I, am I? Do I know if this is the opportunity um, that will do that? Will make amends to you know what it is? I need to my career to like boom bridge that gap into who I'm going to be and who I am now. I don't know, you know. I, I, and if I place the judgment on it, like oh, this is my best shit, it's going to be my worst shit. You know why? Because I'm going to put it out. It won't be as reciprocated as I believe. And somewhere in my spirit, I'll say, wow, this is my best shit. Oh, it must be my worst shit. And then if I go, well, this is my worst shit, like trying to do reverse psychology, you know, and like say, like, oh, this is my worst shit. You know, I'm going to just chill back. You know, I don't even care. This is my worst shit. Y'all ain't even see my best shit. It's like, well... You know, what sense does that make? I mean, not sense in, in, in the sense of, like, sense, but what sense? Like, you know, monetary, you know? Like, if it's your worst shit, that's that's cool. That's baseline. That's gets you, you know, that's to get you a stepping stone. But it's, you know, we're, as you progress, we're, we're moving to a level of, phenom- you know, a level of phenomenal. You know, we we are we, we're not just going for great. You know, we're not waking up to be good. We're waking up to be phenomenal. So, I mean, if there's anything that I can offer, it's you know, there's some there's something inside of us that it's going to be an opportunity to bring out. It really, truly is an opportunity to bring out all the 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 things inside of us i mean to confront our shadow to you know confront our fears like that's an opportunity you know i can't say if it's the like we can't say what type of opportunity that we can't put a judgment on it however if you don't look at it as an opportunity it's going to become a challenge i promise you like it's going to become something that is like a boogie monster like it's going to be like Something you love can turn into a, like a monster to you, like a, like a, you know what I mean? Like a tin-headed monster, like, ah, it makes you nervous when you get around it, you know? Like, that's wild. So it's, it's almost giving things life again, you know? Just giving, allowing things to have a new level of fruition, you know? Everything that you have can always bring more. Allow it to. You know, everything that we have can always bring more. Like, right now, like, I'm, I'm not the proudest, right? But I know that I'm better. I'm better. I'm better, like, when I'm looking at this as an opportunity. Just as an opportunity. Not as a specific one. I'm better. I'm not like the best or the worst i'm just better 
when I'm looking at things as an opportunity, you know, because not trying to put it to me or the world or anything, but just like, hey, this is an opportunity, you know, so let's do it. Because when I'm like, man, like this is an opportunity to change my life, right? Right? Oh, shit. Then it's like, you do you say something like that? Like, you say that about your, your wife or whatever. This is the opportunity to change my life. It's like, oh, my gosh. Like, they're like, dude, why would you put that pressure on me? Like, back the, or, you know, other way around. Like, that's a challenge now. Because I'm, you know, I'm, you know, on this earth as well, you know. And I'm figuring it out. So, it's, it's a balance. And so, I always say this, to, you know, just to say is, look at your spouse. Look at this, look at them as an opportunity. However, allow them that opportunity to come into fruition. You know what I mean? Like, if it wasn't, if you didn't make the opportunity, like, if it didn't come from you, like, this is my opportunity so I can I can walk around I can play I can do what I want you know what I mean this is my opportunity <laughs> like this is my opportunity like you know what I mean it's not it's what it is however if you know my lady you know what I mean if I say if I say oh man that's like that's my opportunity my lady's my opportunity I'm not gonna go out I'm not gonna go and tell her like oh you need to do this 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 like, I, I, I've I've tapped into this like it's like I mean, that's a challenge. <laughs> that's a real challenge. Like, if I say to my my lady, like, you are the greatest ever. Like, gosh, you are you are making my life so much better. Like, you are opportunity. And then I say, then I start trying to change the opportunity. That's hard. That's a challenge in life. You know, allow the things that you say are opportunities to be opportunities. And so, I hope that, um, you know, this message, this seven-minute message, not bad, not bad, not bad. But, you know, do your thing. Because <laughs> it's all opportunities, you know. And challenges, there's nothing wrong with challenges. But challenges, look, opportunity mindset. Opportunity mindset brings growth, healing. Opportunity mindset is what gets us up early, an hour early in the morning. Three hours early. Four hours. That's what opportunity mindset is what makes you keep going when you're tired. We ain't got nothing left. Opportunity mindset is what makes you get more ideas in the midst of, you know, just already having a billion ideas. You know, opportunity mindset is you being unstoppable. Opportunity mindset is you looking at the people, you know what I mean, and people looking at you that you've done wrong or whatever. And y'all like saying, hey, like, you know, this is, hey, life is life is too short, baby. I, I love you, all right? Opportunity mindset is like turning it all around and you don't know how, but you just know why you did it. Opportunity mindset is you... You just jumping over everything, you know what I mean? Like, you're not walking through nothing. you jumping over everything. Opportunity mindset is a completely different place than challenge mindset. Challenge mindset, challenge mindset doesn't even have a voice. I can't even speak for challenge mindset because challenge mindset is like a demeanor. You know, like, opportunity mindset is a speaker. Challenge mindset is a de- is a is a demeanor. When you're in that challenge state, like oh man, like or what, like in challenge states when you're judging opportunities, like of what it could be, man, that junk is like you're like you're. It's all demeanor, man. You're like you you you're just you. It doesn't matter what you do. Like you could you could give the world a billion dollars, but they watching your demeanor. <laughs> They watching your demeanor. You hear me? Like, hear me on this. Like, when you're in a challenge mind state, state of mind, state of being, then nobody care. Like, what you do? They're looking at your demeanor. Like, how are you carry yourself? What are you doing? Because that, that it's all just to get you back into like, hey, like this is an opportunity. So just enjoy it. You know, like enjoy it. Enjoy it. Be yourself. Like, be live. Be lit. You know, be yourself. Because that energy that is going to come from you. If you judge it, if you judge it and say, or make it bigger or smaller, then we can't get that real unique, your fingerprint. We can't get you. And so, and then, and, and then when we can't get you, then it becomes a, you know, something only regional, one dimensional, you know, not universal. And what are we? We are, we are all people at the end of the day. Like, you know, we're not going to, we are not going to. We are not. What one thing we are not going to do, not going to do as a race, is we are not going to condemn an entire another race. We're not going to do that. 
you know, like, that is a place that we have been in many, you know, like, times in, like, history, and it's like, we're not going to do that anymore, we are going, we are going to look at our lives as an opportunity, not going to judge it, we're going to look at everything in our lives as opportunities, and we are just going to, like, all, we're just going to live, we're just going to live, because especially, especially those who have been in discrimination, those who have been through things, it is time for you to stand up. It's time for you to not only, it is not, it is just not only time for you to believe in yourself, it is time for you to listen to that voice when, when you are, when you are walking in the opportunity mind state, state of being, listen to that voice. Like when you say like, this is an opportunity, baby, and you're not judging it, listen to the, what the voice got to say now, because most times when we're in that challenge mind, state of being, that right when, when you're in a challenge state of being, like, and you're judging your opportunities, like, if I'm saying, oh, man, like, this is going to change my life, that voice in the challenge state of being is going to say, you, you can't do that. You ain't going to be able to do that. But that voice is only saying that because that voice has never seen it or never heard or never seen, never felt, never touched it. You know, it's never been done from that perspective. But once you shift over into that, you know, opportunity state of mind, it's like, ooh, like, it's like, for real, like, I, I like, I attempted to do flips, you know, off, you know, a tree first. And then I was like, you know, I changed my, you know, state of mind. Then it was like, boom, like, literally, you know, I, that voice that was saying, oh, no, 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 this might not be safe. This might not be a good idea. It literally changed, like, the internal dialogue in my mind changed from, and it's not our fault, you know, we have to change our being, our state of being, so the internal dialogue can change. It went from, hey, don't do this, man, like, be careful, man, like, right before I'm about to do it, to, bruh, ain't no telling what you can do, oh my gosh, like, to almost a curiosity within myself, you know, and so, you, if, the only way we can have an opportunity as a whole is we got to take it small. Everything has got to be an opportunity. But if you don't think waking up is an opportunity, if you don't think talking to your wife is an opportunity, if you don't think cleaning up the house is an opportunity, if we don't think, you know, I mean, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm just saying I'm speaking for opportunity, baby. So it's 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 a level of novelty that comes with that state of opportunity. Whereas the state of challenge, that is an old prehistoric way of living. There's nothing new about that. There's nothing new about a challenged state of mind, about judging opportunities. And like, I'm telling you, there's nothing new. It's the same path. You go down a path, right? And you know, you're going down a path and you realize, oh my gosh, I'm walking down the path and I'm not supposed to be going this way. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be going this way. And what do you do? You either cultivate a new lifestyle, change, make changes and make a new lifestyle, and look at things as an opportunity, or you start chasing things for the wrong, or you start chasing the wrong things for the right reasons. You're walking down a path, and you're like, I'm not supposed to be on this path. Wow. You wake up. That's what Buddha means. Buddha just means an awakened person. You walk on a path, and, you're, <laughs> and you finally say, damn, I'm not supposed to be on this bit. But if you look back, and you say, I've already gone so far, like, I might as well just keep going. That is you chasing the wrong things for the right reasons. Do you hear me? That is you literally chasing the wrong things for the right reasons. I mean, you're doing everything for the right reasons, but you're just chasing the wrong things. So you are much better off. You are much better off. You say, oh, man, I could be in a great I could be a great producer, but I just ain't there yet. Well, do something because in, in 10 years. Who's to say that you are still going to be that if you ain't been doing it? You ain't just going to wake up after 10 years and, and be like, oh, like, well, I can do this now. And, and who's to say that 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 is a challenge? That is a challenge state of mind. That is the going back to that. Like, you do not know, like, Einstein did not know what he could do. You do not know what you can truly do. You know, like, is an opportunity. You are an opportunity. Like, you as a person, as a whole, are an opportunity. Like, when people see you, they're looking at you backwards. They're looking at you like, like, when people saw Muhammad Ali, 